Hello, Potato. Recently, we tried to do a little bit of, if not healthy, at least high protein snacking with Blue Diamond's Extremes, and they were, to put it lightly, a little disappointing. Uh, the cayenne pepper was actually pretty good, it had a good like oniony flavor. The ghost pepper didn't really taste of anything, it was just kind of hot. And overall, very unimpressive. And frankly, if you're gonna tell me ghost pepper, I expect it to push my heat threshold. So while these were not oh, everything they could have been, it doesn't mean we should give up on almonds altogether, right? So that's why today we're gonna check out these. Sriracha hot chili almonds. Yeah, I know the Sriracha fad has largely passed, but I got into Sriracha a little bit before the fad and I'm still there now. I don't use it a ton, I don't use it on everything. I probably use Cholula more for hot sauce than I do Sriracha. But Sriracha goes nicely on like a, mix it in with some, some ranch dressing or something and it works out quite well. Now these are not just like Sriracha flavored almonds. These are, you may notice, They've got the actual rooster. The Hoi Fong rooster is on the package. Even though they are a quality product by Ames, not Hoi Fong. And they claim to be flavored almonds seasoned with sriracha. And there's even the bottle on the front. And there's the words on the back. And as you can see here from the picture, before we look at the words, I mean, you can see the words, but before I read the words, this claims to be somewhere in between a bell pepper, which is to say, not hot really at all, and a habanero, which is a reasonable amount of heat. And um, what's the sell-by on these? Sell-by is, looks to be uh, in June, 10th of June. So plenty of time. All right, let's look at the words. We are huge Sriracha fans. With the approval of Hoi Fong Foods, we have created the one and only original Hoi Fong Sriracha Hot Chili Almonds. After countless mixing, blending, and tasting sessions, we crafted this spicy little nut that has gained the Hoi Fong seal of approval. We hope it gets yours as well. Do you know Scoville units measure sriracha somewhere between a bell pepper and a habanero pepper to offer the perfect amount of spice? I, I didn't know that. Well, I guess I, I, guess I did because I looked at the picture already, but I didn't know that going in. Uh, there are, let's see, 23 servings per container, 29 almonds per serving, 180 calories, which I think puts it about on par with this, right? And these were 170 calories for 28 almonds. So uh, I guess each almond, well, let's say each almond is 10 calories, but that math doesn't work at all, does it? Nuts about Sriracha? Share your story and join thousands of loyal fans who can't get enough. Guess you do that by scanning that little QR code, but I'm not gonna do that. You're welcome to, I guess. Let me hold it back up for you in case you wanna. There you go. There you go, that good? There you go, that's good. Better be good, because that's as good as we're getting. It's got natural color. I wonder, uh, what, 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 what is in it? Almonds, Hoi Fong Sriracha seasoning, salt, maltrin, sugar, chili pepper, sriracha powder, Hoi Fong Sriracha sauce, chili, sugar, salt, garlic, acetic acid, and or distilled vinegar. Okay, yeah, garlic on garlic and that's nice. Paprika oil, citric acid, vinegar, yeast extract, peanut oil. Contains almonds. Well, I should bloody well hope so. It's a bag of almonds. All right, let's crack them open and take a look at them. I was mostly interested to see if they had that um, was annatto stuff in it, because I found out actually, just last week, going to Whole Foods. That annatto is, um, well, now I've forgotten, but I think it's, it was like, it's a, you get it out of a seed and it gives it red coloring and they use it in cheese because that's where Whole Foods had a sign about it was in the cheese section. Let's look at these. These, however, do not look like they have been particularly dyed red. Uh, they don't, they definitely don't have the kind of, I think this is the one that had the annatto in it. That is kind of a deep red color, which unfortunately they didn't put as much effort into flavoring them as they put into coloring them. These, not so much. These look like kind of like dry roasted almonds, maybe tossed in powder. And kind of like with the blue diamonds, they just kind of smell like almonds. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Do almonds all just smell like almonds? I think I smell a little bit of heat. Like a little bit of the spice of the sriracha, but for the most part, I just smell almond. 
Maybe that's just what almonds are. Maybe the almonds are so strongly smelled, even though they don't seem that strong. Maybe they're so strongly scented that they just, they, they ruin any other flavor from creating an aroma. So I remember like years ago, like a news story about the Hoi Fong factory having issues with people that lived near it because of the spicy scent it would let out into the air was like burning people's eyes and stuff. Maybe that was something else. Maybe I imagined it. Let's try this. Well, the first impact, like the, the instant I get is a, is a sweetness, which makes sense for Sriracha. Sriracha usually is a little sweet. There is some heat there. It's not super spicy. Um, I would say it probably is heat wise along with these. The flavor is pretty subtle, which I'm not going to lie. I find a little disappointing. The almonds are very almondy, little, little, almost a little woody flavored. But yeah, for as much powder as on these things, they're not as strongly flavored as I frankly was hoping. Um, this one has a lot of powder. Let's try this one. Yeah, the heat's there, but the flavor is reasonably subtle. Um, I would say not as strongly flavored as I was kind of hoping from a Sriracha flavored item, but still good. Would I eat them on their own? Cause I mean, they're meant to like be a snack. Maybe. If you ate like a full serving, like with 29 of them, you would probably feel some heat. I mean, if you are heat averse, again, this is a thing to avoid. It's uh, not as hot. It's a little hot as that. That was reasonably hot. It just, it just didn't have like any flavor per se. But I'd, I'd put it along with the cayenne, although maybe not as strongly flavored, which again, a little disappointing, but still good. And they certainly, would be good if you like toss them into a salad, especially if you're mixing some sriracha into your dressing to give it a little heat. And that might be what I end up doing with these. Uh, or maybe mix them up with something else to create, like kind of create your own trail mix. That might be a good option for them too. On their own, eh, they are a little disappointing. Not as much as these, but to be fair, that's as much because these call themselves extreme as it is any other sort of genuine disappointment. Uh, I mean, these just rose my expectations. This really didn't. I was expecting a little hotter, a little more flavorful, but I mean, I wasn't expecting, you know, it to blow my head off like I was with this one. Man, not bad. Not great, not bad. I would be more likely, I think, to buy these again than I would, certainly than I would these, or maybe more than these two. And I think they will go nicely into like a salad or something. But yep. It was interesting, or at least I thought it was interesting. I hope you found it interesting, or at least entertaining. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.